Welcome back to the Ink Pulp Podcast. Uh, we're still getting this Batman painting going. Uh, today we're going to address some values. Um, remember I said the focus is going to be in here and that's where the majority of the contrast, the higher contrast stuff will be. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take this lovely alpha acrylic. There you go. And I'm going to, let's see if it does it again. Ah, I hate that. Um, and, and what we're going to do is, I'll put it up to this camera too. This is a dark blue. And what I like about this blue is it's kind of mute. So it's it's dark and it's mute. It's not black. Uh, there are some painters and, and teachers in the history of art that have said never use pure black. And I, I don't know that I agree with that. But I do like the idea of using as much color as possible. Not, not that black isn't a color, but I like to celebrate some colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two, I'm going to put a few drops, one, two, three, one, two. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is mix in some water to make these little washes because we're going to apply this pretty thin still. We're not really working with the thicks yet. All right. And the one on the right obviously will have, uh, be darker. I'm going to mix it up real good. Okay. Actually, this one I can see has more water in it. So let me just put a couple more drops in there. I do want that to be a good bit darker. Okay, good. Perfect. All right, so what we're going to do is let's get Batman back in frame. All right, first we're just going to do the lighter wash all over the dark areas. So anywhere, uh, and what I'm trying to do is separate the lights and the darks now more and more as we go along. And it's probably going to lay down a little darker than it'll dry. As you, you can see it already, as it starts to dry, we're getting some of that. Not starts to dry as we get into some lighter areas. Starting to see the true value come through. So this is a pretty light value. Just trying to keep it consistent throughout. And what we're doing is separating those darks and those lights more and more and more as we go while adding color. Okay, and sure, like this is gonna be super dark, but just gonna put some in there anyway, and we'll we'll go back over that with some darker stuff later. Okay, and I am gonna come into the face here. We think of shadow as the absence of light, and if light is typically warm, of course it's not always warm. And it's nice to think of shadow as cool. Another th uh, theory that I practice and try to adhere to is the theory that light should be where your opaques are, where there's intense light. And shadows should be dark but transparent. You want to see different... Um, different levels of information within the dark. So it's not just a flat black dark it makes for a richer viewing experience of the painting this is where brush control comes in handy I'm using a, a nice Kalinsky hairbrush for that very reason and okie dokie you got to keep an eye on where the pools of pigment might kind of pull together and even them out as you go. And that's what I'm doing right here and right now. Okay, and then I'm going to come into here. And what you're going to see is the light, when we're done with this, the light will have more power to it. And the, the, the Batman will appear.
appear more sculptural, more three-dimensional, more volumetric, less flat as we go along here. I am going to drop some in here. Now, you might be thinking, well, his skin looks really blue right now. And that's okay. I mean, again, we're using color theory. And you'll see during the next phase, after the values, we'll deal with the, um, the local colors. And if you've done your job right and laid down your washes right, you lay down your local colors on top and if they should be transparent and what will happen is the colors underneath will come through so it's a great way of, of having these local colors work together and harmonize while still being working within the composition and color theory that you're using Remember, I want to keep the contrast up in this area. So as this paint dries, I'm going to be paying attention to where the dark area is. Like you can see here, there's not much pigment down right there. So we got to kind of adjust that a little bit. Also going to sharpen up some of the rendering. Okay, so that's where we are right now with that. So now what I'd like to do is come into this darker blue and I'll think of that really more along the mask than the face I, I don't think I'll bring too much of the face darker I might render a little bit we'll, we'll see when we get there um, but let's definitely get the shadows of this cow I guess we can't even call it a mask can we darker And if you've studied or watched any of my inking videos on ink pulp instruction, I mean, I, I focus a lot on brush control and painting has definitely helped me in that department and inking has helped me in the painting department. They kind of go hand in hand with good solid brush control. And any mistakes you make, don't worry, we can come back in with color pencil and opaque paint and kind of pick it all up. and fix whatever problems we think we have. Another thing that's nice about this blue is I'm planning to make this hot, reflective, acidic, green, yellow light in here. And based on my experience in the past, I have um, found that this blue really gives life to that. So I'm going to come in here and darken. Okay, and I'm laying down some extra paint because what I'm going to do is I don't want to, like I said, I want to keep the contrast up here. Now I'm just going to get some water in my brush. Okay, and I'm going to kind of blend that out. There we go. That looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this dark. I said I would do a little bit of rendering in the face, so I'm just going to add another level of deep darks in here. I really just want this. I want you to see both values right there. And I'm thinking about the other side of this chin area. Um, we can add a little bit of darker stuff right along the bottom there. And the cowl, I didn't hit this area. I gotta get that is really nice and dark too. Okay, so you can see it's starting to become more sculptural. One more thing I wanna do is come into the, the um, 
neck area of the cape using the lighter value and I can see where I rendered a bit so I want to kind of capitalize on the rendering let some brushwork show here this should be a subtle shift right now it looks pretty dramatic but in the end I believe it will, when it dries and lightens a bit will be a nice subtle shift I'm trying to and learning to create more areas where my brush strokes can show I find that to be really a nice little effect. So we'll see when this dries what it looks like, but I think it's going to dry pretty good. Okay, we can add like a brush stroke here, brush stroke here, and of course there's little ones here because we are going to bring some light into that area. So that's pretty much it. That's that's the establishing of the values. You'll see when we come back when that dries that um, it's going to lighten up a little more. We're going to do local color next and then we're going to get into the opaques and then we'll pretty much be done. Uh, again, if you're enjoying this and learning from it, please check out inkpulpinstruction.com. This is sort of a taste of my, my virtual classroom where I'm teaching all my comic book techniques and I have a bunch of guest artist friends coming in and doing episodes there as well and like I've said before this there you go this beautiful bottle of paint uh, this brand alpha acrylic I love and if you click the link right down there um, you can get 10% off Alpha acrylic paints and the link down below also for ink pulp instruction just come sign up for my newsletter at very least you'll get a free lesson and you can keep up to date with all the things I have going on uh, thank you for watching another episode of the ink pulp podcast and I want to know how your paintings are coming along as you're doing them with mine uh, let me know below and um, and uh, I just I'm just curious I want to hear I'll see you all next time peace <laughs>